Hey, you made your way back. Thanks guys. If you remember about two weeks ago, we planted our cucumber seeds into these speedling trays here and waited for germination. Seeded individually, these guys took about a week to pop up and germinate. And then another week after that to grow to the size you see here. So after about a week to 10 days of growth, it's time to get these baby cucumbers out of these plug trays and into the next size pot, both for sale and for transition into your spring garden. If you've followed along for part one of this series, you'll have noticed that cucumbers germinate and sprout fast. Faster than tomatoes and certainly faster than peppers. They are not a plant that can be left in these plug trays for very long. Begin by filling up your tray of three or four inch pots with a quality organic potting mix. Fill these guys level right to the top, then compress them down about 25%. Top off those depressed pots with the same potting mix, and as always, soak from below with about 2 liters of warm water. Soaking the pots allows us to make nice big holes for the plugs to go into, as the wet soil is able to hold its structure. Do the whole tray at once, or multiple trays if you're doing a lot. And now, we're ready for the cucumber plugs. Cucumbers can only be moved on when they sprouted at least one true leaf out of the center of their meristem. The two large opposing smooth leaves that appear when the cucumber first germinates are not actually leaves at all. They're called cotyledons. After you've selected your cucumber seedling, don't just yank on the stem to pull the plug out. You'll snap that delicate plant right in two. Using a large flathead screwdriver, lever that whole plug out intact while carefully holding that stem. Place the cucumber plug in that hole, and if you've gauged your size correctly, it'll plop right in. If not, and it's too small, just give it a little push down, or if it's too big, simply pinch in that soil around it. Either or, it should only take about 10 seconds or less to pot up each cucumber plug. Go ahead and do the rest of the tray, picking the most advanced plants first. As we mentioned before, being poor transplanters, you're going to want to seed these cucumber plugs singly. That way each one can be removed and planted as a whole piece. However, if you do have more than one seedling spread up in a cell, you can gently pry them apart, trying to keep as much of that soil on each of the roots as possible. Pot them up individually, and at this stage, they should be okay. Cucumber stems, while very pliable, can easily snap in half. Be careful when working with a full tray to not inadvertently break a couple of plants. A full tray of baby cukes is awesome to see, and no doubt will get you excited for spring if you weren't already. Place these guys back in nice greenhouse conditions to give them the best chance to get set up in their new pots. As you can see, moving your cucumber seedlings along is both a quick and easy step, but it's also an important one. Cucumbers quickly outgrow their seedling and plug trays soon after germination. And for these warm weather crops, you don't want to stunt them in any way. Just remember to move along the biggest and best ones and only begin to transplant them to larger pots when at least one true leaf is already growing. If we can do this, we'll be setting ourselves up perfectly for the third and final part 
of cucumber seeding and growing. As our gardens begin to thaw, and as we stumble into spring, so too do these cucumber videos. Hang around for part three, where we discuss how to transition these guys both into your garden and your greenhouse. Take care guys, and thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.